in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make house music like Tool Room Records and Mark Knight. As usual I'm only going to be using the stock plugins in Ableton Live 10 but you can follow along in any door because the techniques still apply. This was one of the most voted for artists last week by you guys when I did my Camel Fat video which you can check out there or there wherever it is. So today I'm going to be making house music in the style of Mark Knight. We will be going into the kick and bass. We will be creating that Mark Knight groove. We will be creating some wicked house piano chords. And we'll be going into some mixing, some arrangement, a really, really cool shepherd tone thing that I want to show you, and some vocals too. Don't forget to download the project file and all the samples completely free below this video. And if you dig it, smash like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you want tutorials like this each and every week. And let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next week. So without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, house music in the start of Mark Knight. So first let's have a quick talk about the vibe. Mark Knight makes kind of funky tech house music. He used to make more funky stuff, then he kind of went into a tech house era. And now we're hearing a return to those funky roots. So I don't really call it funky house. It's more like solid house, but with some funk to it. So that is the style that we're doing today. Right, first thing to do is select a tempo. I'll choose one, two, four, because that sounds about right for the, this kind of genre. And we're gonna call it uh, Mark Knight going back to his roots. Mm, let's call it yesterday night, but night like, or nights of old. That's even better. Come on, baby. Nights of old. Right. And then we're going to save that and get cracking. First thing, obviously a nice kick drum. I'm going to use audio, not MIDI. So I'll just delete my default track and color it green. I like to keep things organized. And I'm just going to go to my favorites folders. That one's really good. Um, so it's nice and chunky, nice and techy without being distorted or anything like that. Bosh, 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 bang, bang, bang. There we go. Job done, finished. Uh, I'm gonna put that to minus 10 because I don't want clipping on the master channel. Next thing we're gonna do is, I've got my magic list here, is a bass line. I'm gonna use a sampler for this kind of go away from using the analogs, which I used in the last few lessons, last few videos. So I will go to samples and I'm gonna to go to bass and we're gonna create the bass sound ourselves. So it doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna, uh, just, a, just a big fat saw wave will do. Um, so, uh, we're going to have a really short loop, like two, two beats long, uh, because that's kind of Mark Knight's style and it really helps you get a groove. It's all about the groove when it comes to house music. So let's call this bass and we're going to do some really interesting stuff to make the bass kind of move. We'll do this in A minor because as I've said many times before, it's the easiest key because it's only using the white notes. So as long as you are sticking to those, then you're pretty much guaranteed to have it sound all right. I'm gonna put the release down, uh, the sustain down. So basically, oh no, sorry, the sustain right up. So basically it stops playing when the note stops, when the note stops like that. And that's what we want. Right, now let's get a groove going. And we are going to just keep it on A, but we'll do it at octaves, actually. Like so. It's a bit confusing with the grid that small. Hmm. Okay. This is our bass pattern. And let's add some movement to that bass line by adding some pitch bend. So we'll just go MIDI control, pitch bend, and we're gonna make sure it defaults back to the, the initial pitch at the beginning of each loop.
I know what I need to do that I haven't done yet. I need to change the pitch bend amount on this sampler. So I need to change it from a simpler to a sampler to do that if I'm using Ableton Live and make the pitch bend range 12. So if you bend it right down, it's an entire octave. Pretty much like that. Uh, so with the kick drum and we're just going to loop that as well for the time being. Uh, maybe I'll take that down. Cool. Okay, let's filter out some of those high frequencies. So I'm just going to use an auto filter. So it's quite chunky already. We'll take the volume of that down so it's not overly heavy on the kick. Cool, next thing, groove. I'm gonna use a drum loop for this. Again, I'm going to just kind of loop the first part and we are going to get it, you know, rather than a big long drum loop, we're just gonna use the first two beats of it. Um, so we've got that looped house sound. So I'm gonna to go to some drum loops and just listen to a few and you can preview them with the tune playing and some real nice groove is a good idea and some bongos too to get that tool room mark night sound that's pretty cool that's cool yeah we're going to use that and i'm just going to use the first part of it again and then we're going to loop it So we'll just do that. Uh, let's have a quick peek. Uh, we want to get rid of that first beat though because it's interfering with the kick. So we'll just fade that out like so. And we're gonna augment the beats as well so that we'll get a kind of fatter clap, but let's just loop those. Color it green. Loop, nice, green, nice. And I might even just consolidate that like so, Command J. Okay, now let's augment those beats by adding a clap uh, to, to make it a bit. A bit more clappy. Right, let's do it. So I'll just go to drum hits, claps, do 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 do. And we want something really short, short and sharp, basically. And we just program it in on every other, every other beat, like so. And you can kind of hot swap out the claps and test a few of them if you like. Uh, if you've got a sample bank, let's turn that like so. It's worth spending the time to get a good sound. It makes everything much easier. That's cool. Yeah, I'll stick with 35. Right, now let's add a bit of a hi-hat as well. So I'm gonna go to my favorites. Hi-hats open. That'll do. And it's just to augment the uh, hi-hat in the loop. And we'll adjust the level as well because it's a little bit loud at the moment. Just duplicating that, take it down in volume. And it left. So that's cool, that's a, that's a bit of a groove. You could even just add another bass note on that. Too much. Okay, on to the next thing. What does my magic loop say? Oh, this is the fun stuff. I'm gonna use Loop Cloud, uh, which I don't often use, but let's use it today. And you can get it from the link below. It's a very cool way to kind of browse through loops and have them be synced to your project as well. It takes a bit of a while to, to kind of load up. So let's, let's do that. Uh, oh, maybe I actually need to open it. That would help. Always open your, software before using it. That's my top tip, top pro tip there. 
Don't forget, download all the samples below this, subscribe to the channel if you like, and please share with your friends and spread the word. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go into instruments. I want a funky guitar because that's, that's gonna be a real core part of this track. So I will choose guitar as the instrument. I will choose funk as the genre. And then you can either select between sounds in the library online like Splice or in your computer. So it's also synced to Ableton, as I said, which is really cool. So you can preview stuff in time. And you can press this auto button and choose the, the key of your track, which is A in this instance, and it automatically kind of gets it to the right um, key. And you can kind of choose the different parts of the You, you can kind of choose the parts of the sample to loop. So we'll get another one going as well. Cool. So that's, that's got a real funk going on. So now what we need to do is you can just download them by pressing these buttons here. Um, you can choose the processed file, which means that it's going to have the pitch change applied to it as well, which is pretty useful. Um, so, yeah, let's just, and now it's copied to my clipboard, so I can go into, and it will have the, where it's cut as well. So I'll just now paste it. I need to create an audio channel for each of those. Paste. Okay, that's weird. It's copied them both together, so I've obviously done something wrong. I'm just going to copy the original file then, so and then I can adjust the sound automatically. So I'll choose this one first, copy, paste. And we'll see how many takes it down three semitones. So we'll just do the same in here, three semitones. And we can start it from the place we want. Lovely. Okay, on to the next one. So the second loop is this one. It's raised by two semitones. So we just need to do that. Um, so again, we can press copy. Just paste it. And start it from where we want in the sample. Which I think was here. Uh, cool, so we've got that groove going on. I'm just going to close Loop Cloud. You can download it below from the, uh, the link. It's a lot cheaper than Splice, and it's really cool that you can sync the files like this. But I tend to find that I like a lot of the samples in Splice, and it's hard to find the ones I want on here. But when you do, it's really cool. So I'm closing that now. Go back to Ableton. And let's add some sidechain compression to those. So I'm going to group them together, call it guitar. I'm going to color them blue to keep things organized. And there we go, just make the group darker. And I'm going to now apply a sidechain compressor. So the way you do that, and I'm sure you know this already, guys, uh, just a normal compressor, I'm doing it on the group. I should have been doing this on the group. Um, compress them both together. Open this little button here, choose sidechain, choose your sidechain input. Mine is this trigger track, which instead of using the kick, I like to use this very short, sharp tick because it means that I can control the length of the, the pump with the um, attack and release rather than with the length of the sample so it's to create that sidechain pumping effect. But you want it so it's opening up fully in between each side chain trigger. Cool, so we've got a bit of a funk going on. And with the bass. So I'm gonna put that compressor on the bass as well. Cool, okay, on to the next thing. Let's get a bit of a, a vocal and then we'll create a piano. So I'm just gonna get a, like a looping vocal. 
So I'm going to load up Loot Cloud again for this. So whilst we wait for it to load, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Cool. Okay, so let's search for a rap vocal. So I'm actually just going to use what I, I'm going to use one that I found before because I don't want to spend too much time searching around for it. Um, I'm about to take so let's sync that up to our tune. So we just play it. I'm about to take you back. I'm about to take you back. I'm about to take you back. So it's also got the kind of I'm going to take you back. So it, it fits the vibe of uh, a bit of nostalgia. So we're just going to paste that in there. Um, copy. Paste. There we go. I'm about to take you back. And we're just going to use that first part of the loop. So I'll close Loop Cloud again because it's using those systems resources. Naughty, naughty Loop Cloud. Um, and then let's go onto the piano loop. Classic housey piano loop. I'm about to take so let's create a piano. I'm just going to use the bog standard piano that comes with Ableton. Let's see the grand piano. There are, are better quality piano sounds out there. I'd probably actually use Contact um, by Native Instruments, but I want to make it so you can use all of these um, things even if you don't have all that good stuff. So now it's just a case of putting in a rhythm on A first. That kind of fits in with the groove. And you can make the grid a bit bigger to make your life easier if you change it to this. Then you just, it's easier to make sure that you hit the right rhythm. That's cool. Like that's a groove, fact. That's even groovier. Right, now let's get some of these chords in. So we just want two chords and it's going to repeat. You can use my template, te template technique. So you can draw in all the white notes, which is A up to A, and then press fold. And that means that you're just using the notes from A minor natural, like this. That's the simplest way to do it if you're not good with music theory. But I'm just going to draw them in as I feels them. Actually, no, I will do that to show you how to make chords. So let's just kind of move those by pressing left out the way. And I'm going to... So I was just skipping a note each time then. But now I'm going to keep doing it manually because that's how I roll, I've shown you how to do it now. I'll turn it down a little bit. Boom, 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 let's do it quickly. So a proper house vibe. So you'll have to um, unfold if you want to change the quality of the chords, um, and yeah, I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna like so. I'm gonna because take these notes aren't within the scale of A minor natural. I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna take you back. Yeah. I'm gonna take you back. Let's get a filter on that, put a donk on that. Um, compressor, let's first get some sidechain compression. Cool. Uh, yeah, filter. So we're just, again, you know, just a simple one or two uh, or four bar loop. Let's get the filter on there. Uh, EQs and filters, just minimize that, get it out of the way. 
I you always put my side chain pump at the end of the chain. I'm about to take you back. Resonant. I'm about to take you back. I'm about to take you back. Some reverb. I'm about to take you back. 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 So you can hear, you know, we're just getting the groove going. Lovely. Okay, on to the next thing. Piano. Lovely. Oh, I know. This is going to be a cool little break. Now, I'm not sure if this is really a Mark Knight thing, but I want to do it anyway because that's how I feel. So we're going to make this piano thing twice as long, and this is going to be a, a little interest section in the track. And I'll show you what I mean. Oh, I've got so much good stuff to, still to show you. Um, so I'm going to change the um, rhythm slightly. I'll, I'll do the bass notes first, but basically I want this to be a little, um, yeah, a little break. Mm. And these are all within the scale of A minor, so you can use the template technique to do this bit. I think they are, yeah, they're all on the white notes. So let's get some more chords on those. And I'm just going to add the notes in between. Nice. I want it to sound really jazzy. And then it drops back into the beat. So you'd have a little break in the track that would do this. And then it drops back into the beat. I'm gonna take you back. I'm like so. Take you back. I'm gonna take cool, on to the next thing. Right, we are gonna get another vocal for that main bit. We're gonna get a female vocal this time. Uh, let's see. And again, I'm just going to load up Loop Cloud and we'll find the, the vocal there. Whilst we wait, coffee sip, lovely job. Lovely jubbers. Um, and then we are going to look for... In fact, no, let's use Splice for this for a, ch a bit of a change. Um, yeah, just to keep things fair. We can that we can just delete that loop cloud thing now. So let's get splice open. I'm gonna take you back. 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 So we're gonna use that. Because it's because it's got that kind of old school rave thing. It's warped to 1111, which is what it says to do here, so it's now in tempo with our track. I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna take you back. 
Let's move it a bit. Take it back. Take it back. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. That's cool. If, if we, yeah, switch it like that. I got to have your love. So that's that's the loop basically. Yeah, so we're gonna take this as our loop. We'll stick it there. Don't know why it sounds a bit weird when we're looping here. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay, because I looped it in the wrong place. Nice one, Donut. Um, so it gives it that kind of old school feel. Let's get some reverb on there. So we've really got a groove going on there. Okay, next thing. I'm going to show you how to make a shepherd tone which is the thing that I've been really excited about. And this is just gonna keep on building and building. Right, so. I'm gonna take you back. So we'll get rid of all those other vocals. We'd, this is our loop. So we're just gonna kind of loop these now. And we're gonna build a bit of an arrangement. So, we'll do that with the guitar as well. We're just gonna loop everything basically, like so. And we'll start the track off with just very short kicks. Like so. And yeah, let's build this shepherd tone, which is going to build over the track. Okay, let's just loop those a couple of times. So we'll start the track like this with a very short kick. And we'll turn off the vocals and stuff like that because it's going to be too much to come in with. So, you, you know, you'd start like that, really. Maybe without even the bass line. Because check it out when it comes in. Lovely. Okay, so we are going to bring those loops in here. Whoops, we're going to bring the loops in there. So I'll just delete them beforehand. Turn them down because they're way too loud. They're just to give some groove in the background. I'm going to use the only uh, tool I'll use that's not in Ableton, but it is free, is the Ozone Limiter 2. They've got a great deal actually. Ozone at the moment, it's like $99. I've put a link below so you can grab that. Uh, cool, let's open up as in the whole of Ozone. I can't, don't know why I can't see it. Uh, okay, it's on my other monitor, that's why. Here we go. So we're just widening out that sound. We'll take out the low end in this Second riff. And put the... So we could actually just put that ozone on the whole group, which will save some processing power. So let's do that. Hello, cat. What are you doing? Okay, call that wrap and we will call this female and we'll put them up next to each other because they're both vocals and we'll loop them and then we're going to filter in that piano and we're going to add the shepherd tone as well, which is, so I keep looking at the wrong place. So let's do that. Um, so filtering the piano, we'll just do that from the beginning because why not feeling reckless? So. Yep, 
yeah, we need to double the length of that. So let's just copy and paste that. All. There we go. Uh, Snowy, what are you doing, you crazy beast? Don't make me grab you. Right, let's get this build going to the break where we're going to have the um, big piano. We'll have the vocals come in, everything. So this is what I want to show you. This is a really cool tri trick. I'm going to make a, she a shepherd tone and this is basically a tone that sounds like it keeps keeps on rising keeps on rising so we'll do this just simply with a simple synth with an analog analog make sure that you select pitch bend range as 12 which is a whole octave and then we are just going to program in a rising sound so if we just start on a because that's the key our tracks in Let's turn it down a bit uh, and then make sure it's sustained as it's a synth let's color that cyan boom make sure that we've got sus sustain full right now let's press this little button MIDI control, pitch bend, and I'm going to do this all within the clip itself. Well, you have to do pitch bend with, within the clip, but so a pitch bend all the way up. So that is a whole um, two octaves. Next, we're going to, in fact, we'll make it half the length just because, you know, life's too short. So it's rising quicker. Now we're going to duplicate it and we're going to duplicate it four times that way. And in each time, we are going to put the note up an octave. So where is it? So you just click on the note, hold shift and press up. In fact, no, we need to put it up two octaves. And that is so it starts in the same place it left off. If you hear what I mean. There's a weird pluck sound at the beginning though. So um, shouldn't, shouldn't be. Uh, not sure why it's doing that. Oh, I know because of the release of the previous sound so we'll choose mono should have said that this is still a weird bit of a squeak i think that's when the um the pitch loops back to the beginning but that's fine it's going to be masked masked anyway so now we choose the next one put it up four octaves next one put it up six octaves oh that's loud so this is now like rising up to properly high levels. Um, this is the cool thing. So let's duplicate this four times. Duplicate it there, two, three, four. Now what we need to do is just move each one along one of these blocks and you can basically have a continually rising sound for as long as you want. So check this out. And then you just, oh no, that's right. I should have done this first. Before we, before we duplicate, we'll leave the analogs there, it's fine. We're gonna do a little volume automation within the clip as well. So we'll press this button again. Analog, which is the synth that we're using. You don't need to use analog, you can do this in any synth. Volume. And we are just gonna fade in the volume. So, 
We'll start at zero. We'll make it fade in across the whole whole block, same as the pitch. And then the last one, we're going to make it fade out. I haven't done this for years. I think I learned this from Axwell. Uh, well, I didn't learn it from him. I heard it in a tune of his and I wanted to do it. So I just figured it out myself. Um, right. So now we can copy and paste these into our thing is our other analogs just duplicate them and then check this out right I'm going to group them together to have more control over the the master volume call it shepherd shepherd of my soul amen brother let's listen to this so you can hear it just keeps on rising I've done something wrong there. Maybe it needs to go two over. No, that should work. That should work. It's just for some reason the clip automation hasn't copied. So what I'll do is I'll delete the other ones. And now this one, which has got the clip automation because we just did it. Um, see, I will just duplicate this analog. And then again, we just shift them over one. Whoops, shift this one over one, shift this one over another one like this. Right, check it out. And the other ones will come in underneath. And you can keep this going as long as you want and it will keep rising. And if you want to mask that kind of glitch, so it's basically amazing for, for tunes where you just want that energy to keep on, on rising. So I'm going to put a reverb on there just to soften the sound and have it sit in the background. And then you could put other effects on there like flanging and whatnot. Um, cool. Okay. Little drum intros and stuff like that. So we are going to just go and create a, another track. Let's call it drum intro sounds. And we're just going to use one shots for this. I'm about to take you back. 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 Oh, that is a bone a fide banger. Well, it would be, it will be when it's finished, but oh yeah, that's that's an absolute little groover. You filthy little groover. Right. Samples, drum hits. Let's get a couple of that. I need a t-shirt that says Bonafide Banger. Um, if anyone wants a t-shirt that says Bonafide Banger or any of the other ridiculous things I say, let me know and I might make some merch. Okay, so, Tom's. So this is not gonna be complex. We're just gonna add a... a I'm about to take you back. I'm about to doom, doom, yeah, cool. So we we'll just program this in an audio. Doom, doom. I think that's the right place, and we'll put some reverb on. I'm just using auxiliary reverbs here. I'm about to take you back. Yeah. So let's add some hall reverb, uh, room reverb. I'm about to take you back. I'm about to take you back. Turn it down a bit. I'm about to take you back. And we are going to find a secondary clap, and that is to add little intros that Mark Knight loves to do um, using a, a secondary clap. And let's just have a look for those. And what's a good clap to use? Mm, I, I'll just have a listen to some. 
Right, so drum hits, claps. That's quite cool. Just really simple, old school clap sound. So that's before the drop. And we are going to do a bit of mixing, so don't worry about that. But we also want an old school cymbal crash as well to give it more energy on the drop. Uh, so let's find one. Boom, hits and crashes. No, it would be in drums, cymbals. So I've organized all of these samples like years ago. There you go. I don't know which um, drum machine that's from. Probably a 909. And we'll add some extra delay on that. So you could do that using a auxiliary channel. So I'll just go to delay, choose echo, 100% one uh, wet, and then one, two, three, four. Don't want it dotted, we want on the notes, ping pong. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, lovely. So it's like this. Bring in the stereo field a bit. Take out the high end filter. Add some reverb. It's a great little tool, this um, echo unit in Ableton 10. A bit too much though. So something like that, you've got the old school break in the middle. And then you would loop it back onto the drop like so. I'm just going to copy all this. Almost done. You know, obviously this isn't a finished track. Uh, obviously, but you know, it's a it's a pretty banging idea. And then after that drop, you would probably, let's just check the automation. Uh, we, you could take it back. You could take it right back as the guy is saying. So I'll turn, I'll turn the woman off for a sec. Oh no, actually that, that works. She works in. Yeah, we'll, t we'll turn her off and we'll drop the vibe down after that. So she'll do her little thing in the break and the bloke will come back in and we will, uh, just going to turn that crash down a tiny bit. We are also going to turn off these guitar loops. So it's going to get right back down to it. I'm about to take you back. I'm about to take you back. And we'll turn off the... Shepherd tone. I'm about to take you back. 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 Yeah, so let's just get let's just get a bit of a pump on. I, I tweak his timing of the vocals slightly just to tighten it up, but um, I'm not gonna do it now because time is of the essence, so let's just put a pump on that as well. So it just gives it that pumping vibe. You could do it with a shepherd tone as well. Yes! I accept. Oh, I just, I want to get back into the club. Come and lock down. Stop. I'm 
Boom. There you go, guys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, download all of the uh, samples and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will catch you next time. Until then, cheers and happy producing. Yeah.